In this section, we want to look at a couple of common examples where macros may make your programming life a little bit easier on the, on the uh, Express console. So we want to take a look at just a few things that we've gathered um, from experience or from uh, Express users who have said, hey, this, this macro helps. Uh, we're going to cover a few of those, as well as just some tips and tricks to help you uh, get the most out of the macro functionality on the Express console. One of the things uh, that we find commonly used to macros are like a channel check operation. So what I'm doing here, and you can look on the screen and see macro one and macro two, I have a command, and this may not make perfect sense immediately, but it will when we see it running. I have macro one is at zero zero plus full. And then I have macro number two is at zero zero minus full. And I've got those assigned to macros one and two, so they're right here on the M1 and M2 key. So what does that do exactly? I'm going to go back to stage and I'm going to take one at full and let's say I want to run through my channels to do a channel check at the beginning of my show. So I say one at full and now I can hit macro one which is going to say at zero zero plus full which will turn channel one off and bring channel two up to full. So I can just simply step through my channels and go and then the at zero zero minus full will actually reverse through the channels if I want to be able to go backward and forward. So that's that's uh, a common use at zero zero plus full or at zero zero minus full is the macro. Uh, back into macro editing, set up eight. And macro number three uh, is a commonly used macro which is the save to disk macro. And what that does is it is the uh, setup command three, the third uh, list option down is disk functions. Enter opens up that. One is write all to disk. Enter and then a please confirm, enter and then it will write to the disk and then I have the stage button hit so that the console will return back to the stage display when it's finished saving. So let's see how that looks when I run and that's my macro three so I'm going to hit macro three and we get the two disk in process occurring and when that is finished uh, because the macro is taking its time it will return back to stage indicating that it's done recording to disk so that's another common uh, use. Another one that we can do, uh, and I'm going to go back into macro editing. I'm going to change here what macro one does. Uh, commonly used uh, are like a plus percent and a minus percent. So like if I take a channel to 75% and I say, no, I need to increase that by five points, instead of typing on my keypad at 75 or, or picking the next one up, I could write a macro that is at and then the plus key five times. So I'm going to hit one, enter, and I'm going to use my soft key three to delete everybody, I'm going to say at, and hit the plus key five times, enter macro to, to finish that. I'm going to do the same thing for macro two, but I'm going to do at minus five times. So I'm deleting at minus five times. I could make this six, I can make it 10, I could make it whatever I want, but five is a nice number. So now I have stage. Uh, let's say I take channel 10 uh, at 50%. And I want to increase it. No, now I want it up five points. I hit macro one, it's up five. Macro one again, now it's up five more. Macro two decreases it by five points. So there's a nice quick way to get up five and down five on a particular channel. Another thing to remember about uh, macros is not necessarily what they can do, but how you can use them. Uh, in your setup display, under um, options, settings, option number 10 is a power up macro. And a power-up macro is a macro that will run whenever the board is turned on. So this is useful if you want to automatically turn on, say, some work lights, or run a queue, or bring up uh, some house lights, or, or something when the board is turned on. So somebody who's not experienced in bringing up a queue or something uh, can come in, turn the board on, and when the board is booted into its software, it will simply uh, run a macro that will uh, bring on some lights or, or perform another function or read a show from a disk or something. Uh, you can do that as a, as a power-up macro. A few other things that we want to be able to do with macros and this pertains to uh, queue operations. If I can go and I want to create a macro and now this is where I can use macros that I don't necessarily need hard buttons for. So I'm going to go into my macro editing and let's gonna, I'm going to do macro uh, 101. So I'm going to say uh, 101 Enter, and now I'm learning 101. And maybe this is a macro that I want to use to execute a subroutine that needs to um, play 
with another cue that I am pushing go in my CD fader pair. So what I want to be able to do is let's say I have a subroutine in cue number one. So I'm going to type Q1 and I'm going to hit the AB go button and you can see that my macro now says Q1 go AB and that is macro 101. I'm going to hit enter macro. Now what I can do from stage is let's say I want that subroutine to start playing with Q12. So I simply hit Q12 and I hit my link button and remember we talked about link in another section uh, that had to do with uh, Q parameters but one of the options here with link is to link it to a macro so I'm gonna hit enter macro after I hit link and I'm gonna pick as it says link select the macro number macro 101 and now you can see that uh, here in my Q list that Q12 links to macro 101 what this allows me to do is when I play Q12 in my CD fader pair Q12 executes in the CD fader pair and subroutine number uh, one, Q1, starts playing in the AB fader pair. So I only have to hit the go button one time, but both cues start playing simultaneously. So that's a way that I can trigger uh, those things. Related to that, I can, in macro editing, in macro 201, I want to go ahead and on bump a submaster that is containing my effect. And in this case, I have an effect running in my submaster number three. So I'm going to hit more soft keys, and I'm going to hit on bump, soft key one, and it's going to ask me the submaster number, sub three, enter. Now you can see here that my macro 201 is on bump three, and I'm going to enter this, and then I'm going to create a macro 202, which is an off bump for the same thing. So now I have two macros, 201 on bump, 202 off bump. Now what I can do is in uh, Q10, I can do the same thing. I can link to enter macro uh, 201, enter, and then I can do uh, Q11 link to 202. Now when I run Q10 and I execute that Q, it's going to start my effect running and the Q runs here. Uh, and then when I'm finished with that Q and I want to stop the effect, I simply hit go and Q11 runs and the effect stops. So that is a way that I can use uh, macros and linking to macros to uh, execute commands in my submasters. So those are a few common examples of how macros are used uh, on your Express Console and also ways, uh, uh, little uh, shortcuts and tips and tricks that uh, macros can do to help make your programming on the Express Console a little easier.